Let's see. All right. So hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jeanette McLeod, and I'm a Platinum Leader with Young Living. Um, tonight, I thought it would be really useful for us to talk about um, following up and care calls. And the reason I thought that this might be important is because we had in Young Living a really, really explosive November. November um, had a ton of people pop ranks. We had huge OGV and we had a lot of people come on board. And if you've been with us, you've experienced that there, there has been a bit of a dip from December and January, but we had a humongous boom in November. And now in February, that tells me we really need to be following up with the people from that time. It's been three months. And if we haven't followed up with those people who have either gotten on board or placed an order, now's the time that we really want to be doing that. And it's so important to provide stellar customer service. One thing that has really been coming up time and time again about success in this business is how can you serve them? How can you serve people when you're completely relationship based and you're completely wanting to figure out what you have to offer somebody as opposed what you're going to get from somebody, you're going to find the ultimate success. So it's really plugging in to those people that, that um, ordered in November and of course December and January. We have members there too that need our care. But really connecting with them. It was huge. We want to make sure that they know we're still here. We're still a great company. It wasn't a one-time blast and that they're a valued member. So one of the things that I do that some of you have seen, what I do to keep track of my people, because as your organization grows, you may have people who end up in places that are not supported per se by a specific leader. Um, my example would be my mom's leg. I built my mom a bit of a leg, but my mom isn't a builder. She's committed to placing that 100 PV order, but everybody under her is my responsibility. And so what I do is I got myself my little recipe box and I divided it into my January, February, March, my entire year. And then on my recipe cards, I actually write their name down. And then I know in, in um, February, I need to make sure that I contact these people and that I talk with them and, and um, just really connect that way. If you call somebody who you have not ever met or talked to before, if you call somebody you've not met, oh, Kevin doesn't answer the phone. If you call somebody that you've never talked to before, then your goal really is just to get to know them. We want to see if they have a uh, no, it's not kombucha. We um, have a, a need, if they have a need that we can meet. And that's essentially what we want to do. So we want to ask them, did you open your kit? Um, what did you like best? What have you used that for? What originally interested you with Young Living? And on the Come Cloud Momentum, I actually have a little bubble sheet that I quickly jotted down of questions that I like to have when I ask people um, when I'm doing a care call. So when you think, okay, well, who do I call? Call everyone. If they're in your organization, they're, you can support them. That's fine. And, I mean, if they have somebody who's actively supporting them, you might want to um, be um, in open communication about when they talked to them last or if they have. But otherwise, you know, don't worry. I think that if I were to get a call from Chelsea and from Adam finding out how I'm doing, that would be wonderful. I don't see a problem with that. So um, definitely don't feel uh, afraid to reach out to everybody in your organization. Now, if you're registered for Operation Silver Boot Camp, you will see on the first day, she really talks about this, how to talk to people and, when, and how important care calls are. You don't want to just sign somebody up and drop them like a hot tamale. And it's like, well, I don't want to bug them, 
But on the other hand, it's like you've worked so hard for that sign up or you want to share the lifestyle with them. It's only in their best interest and in your best interest to really help them that way. And the question that I wrote down is, how are you successful in helping them with their young living lifestyle? How are you helping them? And, you know, that kind of gives them a few other questions, like how am I giving them product information? How am I connecting with them? Have I connected them to others? So um, it's always important to have the next exposure in mind. So really, this is... This is a business, we know it's a, business, a relationship business. Melissa Pepping calls it not an MLM, but an MLR. It's a multi-level relationship, and that's essentially what it is. So it's imperative for us to have planned what the next exposure is. If we're looking at a prospect and we want to um, connect with them, then we, hey, would you look at this video and tell me what you think? When can you have it watched by? Or can you read this and let me know what you think? Let's go for coffee. I'd like to show you my kit. I think this would greatly benefit you. But then after that, you've got the next thing. Would you like to host a session or would you like to try this sample? So we've always got the next thing. And a care call is the same thing. It's the next exposure. Now they've got their kit. Now we can become friends. Now we can get to know each other. Now we build trust and we build rapport. Because ultimately, they're going to remain a loyal customer if they trust you and if they see you as somebody who they can relate to, who's somebody like them. And that's how you're going to find those loyal customers also. So you want to make sure that you're looking at ways of what, what, what you can do for them and how you can serve them. It was also talked about that if you are prospecting, I'm just going to jump to prospecting here. If you're prospecting on Facebook, for example, or Instagram, um, how it's really important that you only reach out, um, you reach out with no agenda. You really truly want to come from the heart that you want to help. You're not looking for a sign up. You're not gunning for somebody. You're not looking for 50 bucks or 67 bucks. But you're actually just looking to connect as a human being and you're looking to connect with them on um, a relational level and then just probe and, and get to know them. We've talked about form before. So you want to talk about their um, their family and their occupation, and you want to you want to kind of just talk about them and who they are, and you want to really get to know them so that you can have that connect with them. And everybody loves to talk about themselves, and so even on a care call, when you're talking to somebody and you break that barrier down, as soon as you say things like, "What first introduced? What first um, interested you in Young Living?" And they say, for example, I have arthritis, and I thought there might be something that could help. Then I can have a candid conversation with them and say, well, let's take a look at the kit you have and what we can use to possibly help now. This will break down a huge barrier because you're not calling to sell them anything else. You're actually just calling to help them with what they already have. And that's how you're going to build that trust and respect and that rapport with them. So not looking for other ways necessarily, but just really leveling with them about what you can do to help and asking what's the best way that we can be in touch and are you okay if I add you to the Facebook group? Just being that, um, that sincere person. And honestly, if you're not sincere and if you're going for that, that sign up and that's all you want is that 67 bucks, they will smell that a mile away and they will be so turned off, you will never get anywhere with that. So you have to make sure that your heart is of pure intention and then you will see um, people be very receptive to you. So when you're making these care calls and you're asking them from their November purchases, you're talking to them now, then now would be a great time to start some um, letting them know about some things. One thing I'd like to let you know right now, um, if you've been following Adam at all, you know that we're going to have a ton of product releases. And it's coming. And I've been, I've been telling my members 
keep your ear to the ground. Like we're just talking, but hey, keep your ear to the ground because there's lots of great releases coming out. And um, just, just so they have that heads up and so that they know. And just touching base with them to make sure that they have, they are plugged into the Facebook groups. They do have your contact info if necessary. And, um, oh, is it still cutting out a little bit, Linda? Sorry about that. Okay. So um, it's just important for you to make that connect. And realistically, this shouldn't be the first connect because you really ideally want to connect with them about the first week after they have their kit. Make sure it gets cracked open. Um, I participated in a group last night. A few of you, I think, were on. And it was how to promote yourself using social media. And it was done by six leaders. And Jim Bob Hagerton said... I, correct me if I'm wrong, if you watch that video, how many years, eight years, did his kit sit in the closet? Six years? His kit sat in the closet. Never opened, never used. He's a crown diamond with Young Living. All because of no follow-up. He's a crown diamond with Young Living. But there was zero follow-up. His kit sat in the closet for six years. Don't let that happen to anybody you sign up. Follow up with them. Help them crack those bottles open. And you know, sometimes it's not for everybody or it's not the right timing, but ultimately it boils down to us. It boils down to how we um, carry ourselves and it boils down to us just being of pure intention and wanting to help people that way. So um, hopefully that can take some of your nerves away when you're doing a care call because really um, there's nothing to be afraid of. They're not rejecting you if you get a bad one. It's, it's nothing to be afraid of because really you are just calling to make sure that they're doing all right, to see if they have any questions. And you really just want to find out who they are and what makes them tick. And that you just want to ultimately be their friend. I mean, nobody has too many friends and, and we are in a network marketing um, relationship industry. So um, that's what we want to be doing. So there's a lot of people actually going for ranks this month. We have two, four, five full days left in the month. So now is a great time to be making care calls. And it's also a great time to be planning your calendar for March. We're going to kick off to some really great things in March. There's great things coming. I'm super pumped. You guys have probably seen Adam's call, but... Um, I don't know when all the products are going to get released, but I just want to say I'm super excited because he said that the most popular items, there's like 50 products being released, the most popular items that Canadians buy, all, he said all of the products that he buys on a regular basis are regulated in Canada or coming to be regulated in Canada very shortly, except one. And so we found out what's that one product that's not going to be regulated that Adam orders all the time? Sleek tea. So don't expect that one to be regulated in Canada. So that one's still going to have to be ordered. But so anyways, I'm going to wrap up here. Care calls. November was huge. It was big. Now's the time to connect. Now's the time to engage. Now's the time to start planning for March. And we've got five full days. So those that are going for um, their final push for uh, being grandfathered bothered into the silver and six, now's the time. Although Elite Express looks pretty darn awesome, so I wouldn't worry either way. Um, we'll stay on for another couple minutes. If you guys have any questions or want to chit-chat, then um, there's uh, 21 of us available to answer questions. So thanks for, uh, thanks for joining.